Now let's take a look at a lesser used method of promoting your products on Amazon, but one that can be very effective. We're going to look at creating internal promotions on Amazon. If your product lends itself to multiple sales, then this is a very effective and sensible way to increase volume of sales per order. In other words, we can turn a one piece order into a two or three piece order, thereby increasing our order volume. We have to remember that our Amazon FBA charge is made up of an order handling pick and pack per item, plus a web-based fee. If you can send multiple units in one order, the FBA fee that is usually charged for an individual sale per unit will effectively be reduced per unit. Taking an example of how this looks with actual figures using the Amazon.com charges as part of an example, a single unit sale of a standard 300 gram product will have an order handling of $1. It will have a pick and pack of $1.02 and a weight based fee of 55 cents. So in total, $2.57. However, a three unit sale of the same product will have an order handling of a dollar, a pick and pack of $3.06 and a weight based fee of $1.34. So in total, it's $5.40 or it's per unit is only $1.68. Every additional unit that we can sell inside an order helps us to reduce order related fees. Promotions are effective in encouraging these multi-unit sales. It's important to monitor multi-unit sales because it may give us the opportunity to create a pack size or additional pack sizes that we can sell. This is important because we can optimize the profitability of our products by effectively reducing the pick and pack fees. By offering these new pack sizes, we're not going to require Amazon to pick and pack multiple units as they had to before we decided to create these new packs. Generally speaking, we're creating specific codes that customers will use inside the checkout. These codes will appear on the listing. You set them up and control your promotions 100%. It's completely optional and of course, don't treat this as a license to spam your offer around the internet. So let me give you an example and show you where the promotions are. So here we are on this um, particular product here, which is a grill mat. And if you scroll down past the frequently bought together, past the customers who bought this item and the sponsored products, we get down to this area here that says special offers and product promotions. And you'll see here that this particular seller is doing a save 50% on Grillaholics Essential Grill Brush. Um, when purchasing one or more Grillaholics products offered by Grillaholics. And then there's a particular code here that you enter at checkout to get that discount. Um, so this is the area here where you actually um, see the special offers and product promotions. There are four promotion types available on Amazon. We're only gonna focus on the money off promotion type. Free shipping is irrelevant as we're using FBA buy one get one isn't suitable for our model as we're effectively giving away profit. Finally, external benefits do not apply to us either. So now we're looking at how we actually set up a promotion inside our Amazon Seller Central account. We want to go to the advertising tab on the top and we want to go to promotions. So this is going to bring us into the promotions menu. Again, as we discussed, there are four different types. The one that we're going to focus on is money off. So we want to go on and create a new money off offer. We're going to the create a promotion money off page where we can set up all the different things that we have to do in order to get this promotion live. This is where we start to create some rules for the promotion. The first item we can see is the buyer purchase section and we have a drop down menu. We can select the first promotion rule that says at least an amount in dollars or at least this quantity of items or for every quantity of items purchased. The most effective rules are at least this amount in dollars or at least this quantity of items. This is because we are trying to increase the volume of our order. So at least this quantity of items is the main rule we start with. We can create a rule saying at least this quantity of items and enter two pieces or three pieces. We then have to assign a purchased item or a product to this particular promotion. So we must go into create a new product selection. The easiest way to do this is via an ASIN list. You can select ASIN list and then click submit. Once you then come into the create product selection area, 
you can give it a tracking ID and an internal description. Generally speaking, it's going to be the product's name. Then inside the ASIN list, put the ASIN of your product inside there and click Submit. That will then bring us back into the Create a Promotion page and we can then select our new product selection that we made in the purchased items. In the section that says Buyer Gets, we have a drop down where we can select a percentage off or an exact amount off in dollars. Then the small window to the right of that is where we can put in the percentage or the value that we're giving off and it will apply to the purchased items. We then have a start date, start time, end date, end time and an internal description. The internal description cannot be blank. In step three, the additional options we have are customized messaging. We'll have to click that in order for the menu to appear. We have to then insert all of the checkout display text, short displays, purchased item displays, the detail page display text, terms and conditions, etc. etc. Once we're ready, we can click review. That will bring us into another page where we can see all the different details of our promotion and we can click submit our promotion and it'll then be live.